it's Corey coming at you with my week 91 update from VSG surgery that I had in Cancun, Mexico on March 2nd, 2012. So, this week's numbers. Dun, dun, dun. I weigh 250 pounds this week. So, let me tell you a little bit about my week. I have been craving anything salty, so boiled peanuts, um, Cajun style, have been like my food of choice, which really isn't a food, it's more like junk food. Um, yeah, so I've eaten them pretty much every day this week, and not really eating food food, um, other than I also had sugar cookies, like, because... It's just that time of year for me. It's the holidays, and um, I guess that's a huge trigger for me as well. Um, being a former fatty, I like love the holidays and loved all the food that went along with it. And I've had pizza this week. I've had um, my really expensive sugar cookies again this week. And. I did purge my house of all the junk food, um, so that's the only good thing that, like, happened out of this. So it's kind of like a binge week, I guess, for me, so, so to speak. Um, super stressed, so I, like, want to go to junk food, so, um, there's no good rhyme or reason why, it's just, it is what it is. The further out you are, the harder it is to resist, I guess, some of these things, um, I've had some bread this week, and I'm not a big bread person anymore, and carbs just pack on weight for me, um, and I've been pretty much very low carb for the last two years, so, uh, it is what it is, I own it and go with it, I've been over at least 1,200 calories every day, I am when I'm normally around 1,000, um, I'm not walking, I'm not exercising, so, with all that said, the good, bad, and ugly, that's all the ugly. The good news is, thanks to my sleeve, I can't eat large portions of food, um, but you will still gain weight if you choose the wrong foods. Um, I know what I need to do to get back on track. I need to get my ass motivated and back to the gym. And all the motivation in the world that I need, or that I needed, is to see that scale say 250 pounds. Um, at 250 pounds, that's 30 pounds up from my all-time low. I do feel that our bodies do reach a certain point um, of weight loss, and that is where your body is going to maintain. Um, I'm not okay with that. Um, so I have to uh, use my tool to the best of my ability and get my ass up and exercise to continue to lose weight. So, with that said, that is my goal to myself, is to get out, exercise. I don't care if it's pitch black or 20 degrees out. I need to be moving. Uh, when I walk, I lose, and when I don't do anything, I don't lose. I have a gym membership, so there's no reason why I'm not getting up in the morning other than I'm tired, but I can only use that excuse for so long my hip hasn't hurted and has it hurted? Yeah, if that makes any sense. My hip has not hurt since I stopped going to the gym. So, um, it is nice not being in pain. However, I was also 30 pounds lighter when I was going to the gym regularly. So, that is my goal, anyways, to myself to get back to the gym um, and get back on track. Thanksgiving wasn't an issue for me. I actually didn't partake in anything. Thanksgiving related on Thanksgiving. On Tuesday, we did an employee party, uh, Thanksgiving party. Uh, everyone brought a dish to pass. I had probably about three ounces of turkey. Um, I had a bite of macaroni and cheese, a bite of sweet potato casserole, a bite of mashed potatoes, and a small slice of pumpkin pie. Um, that was my Thanksgiving. I didn't really want to cook a turkey and have all the other stuff. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Not celebrating it, I guess, was more of a, I don't know, a, a mental thing for me. Uh, I didn't celebrate it last year. I didn't really celebrate Christmas dinner last year or New Year's. Um, 
I didn't go to people's houses. I just kind of did my own thing and I was fine with that. And I'm going to probably do the same thing for Christmas. It's just, it, it's not that important to me um, to be surrounded by all that food. If I'm surrounded by that food, it's kind of like the saying, like, you know, well, you wouldn't give an alcoholic a drink, would you? Um, if they're in recovery. I mean, it's the same. To me, that's how I feel. Like, you wouldn't give a crackhead crack. That, you know, food is my crack, I guess. Bobby! Just saying, crack is why. And then Bobby is my saying. Anyways, not my saying. It was Bobby saying. And Whitney Houston saying. Nonetheless... When I think of crack, I think of Bobby and Whitney, nonetheless. So, yeah. So, <laughs> that is a little bit of randomness, if not anything. Uh, so, yeah. That is where I'm at this week. It's definitely the mental struggle. Um, you know, when I'm busy again, I don't feel hunger. But if I just need to get back on to what I did losing the weight in the beginning, the protein shakes, protein shakes, and then something for lunch or dinner. Um, that's what I need to continue to do. Um, and just realize that I will probably have to do that for the rest of my life so that I don't gain weight back. So, that is what it is, folks. Not pretty. Let me tell you, this is definitely a journey. And the further out you go, the harder it is. And that's just the, the God honest truth. Um, I don't know how some of the people long term you know, continue to keep it off. Like, I know I have some issues that I need to work out for myself first, but it, it's tough. I'm not going to sugarcoat it and say, oh, it's all great. Yeah, it's great for the first six months to a year. You will definitely drop weight like no one's business. But let me tell you, lose as much as you can during that time. By no means, I mean, I still feel like a, fa a failure, um, even though I, I know that's not the right word that I'm looking for, because I've still lost like 187 pounds. I mean, I don't feel like I'm a failure, so to speak. Um, but I still don't feel like I'm at where I need to be. So that's my mental struggle and my dilemma right now. Um, so, yeah, that's what it is, folks. There's really no... It's ands or buts. But, you know, again, thank you for all my subscribers, all my new subscribers. You know, thanks for following me on Facebook. And hopefully I'll just get back on track and everything will be peaches and cream. All right, y'all have a great week. Bye.